Of all the places to go at Penn State, I'd have to say that this is my favorite, Berkey Creamery. 150 years ago, Penn State opened its creamery. Now, 750,000 cones and bowls are sold annually. That's a lot of frozen confections for community members and Penn Staters alike. This place is making memories that help tie us to this wonderful university. So today we give Berkey Creamery a sesquicentennial shout out. This is Penn State. In 1855, Penn State University got its official charter. Ten years later, they opened a creamery. Talk about having your priorities in order. But all this doesn't happen without deep dedication and the love of the bovines that make our dairy dreams come true. Morning, Bill. You're absolutely right. Hey, Tom. The year was 1865. Civil War veterans were returning to Center County. Some of them enrolled in what was then at the time as the Farmer's High School. To the present era, we've been making ice cream. Today, we're producing about uh, 4,000 gallons of uh, ice cream, death by chocolate, about 8,000 gallons for the week. You run that to a year, it's over 300,000 gallons. Wow. So all these stats are impressive. You're giving me this inside look. I, I feel like it's my birthday. But I got my creamery passport. I'm ready to check off some flavors. they will turn me loose. Whoa, Bill, you gotta slow down a little bit. For you to get the true picture of what's going on, you have to go to the edge of campus. I'm game. Let me know the place, I'll be there. <laughs> Note to self, always ask exactly when we're starting. Hey, Travis, what's up? Phil, good morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to, to the Penn State Dairy Research and Education Center. Uh, this facility is home to 220 milk cows that we milk 365 days a year. Now this is, this is quite the modern facility. Something tells me don't just belly up to a cow with your stool in your bucket. It's a lot more modern and a lot more mechanization. Uh, this would be where the magic happens, so to say. Um, this is where those 220 cows come every day, twice a day, to get milk. We've attached this milking unit. So the system is working off a vacuum. So now we're not, we're not squeezing with our hands anymore. Uh, there's a rubber liner inside each one of these cylinders that is actually from vacuum, it's contracting, and it's what's doing the squeezing now instead of our hands. Hey, how's it going? I'm Bill. <laughs> I'm milking you today. Good, excellent, you're a natural. So ready to go to clean these up. There you go. Looking good, good coating. Good. All right, went a little crazy with that one. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> There you oh, go. Right, got a little bit there. So go ahead and clean those off. Yep. All right, we got two on. Three. See, now we can see the milk flowing wow. down into that cup it's right away. It's starting. Right. We can see that she's already nearly at 38 pounds uh, just for this milking. Well, Travis, thanks a lot for showing me around. Sure. I really appreciate it. Uh, no problem, you did a great job. Uh, if this TV thing doesn't work out for you, we'd be happy to have you back anytime. All right, I'm gonna go back to work. All right, see, see you later. later. Hi, Tom. Hi, Bill. Back. Looks like someone's been at the dairy barns early this morning. Smells like it, too. That is just a portion of what it's going to take to produce this delicious treat. Well, Tom, I didn't think I could love creamery ice cream anymore, but this gave me just a total new appreciation of what it takes to go from cow to cone. So this anniversary year, be sure to visit the creamery and get some of the best ice cream on earth. I'm Bill Zimmerman. This is Penn State. <laughs>